All right, so let me explain what I've done. I marked the center of the door with a pencil, and then I measured from the center of the door, I measured seven feet this way and made a mark, kind of blurry right there. And then I dropped a plumb bob or a little homemade plumb bob, put a stake in, I did the same thing on the other side. And so that is gonna be 14 foot wide and I came out 10 foot out this way. So this is what you're gonna look at right here. This is gonna be the whole porch. And so on the 10 foot sections here, I just measured five feet. I'm gonna put one post there. That's got the corner post. And then on the 14 foot, they measured, I think, right at four foot, eight inches. So I went four foot, eight inches there. And then from this corner, four foot, eight inches. And then between the two, it's gonna be four foot, eight inches, approximately. And so I'm gonna dig these holes big enough to where I'm gonna have a plus or minus at least three inches to go in any direction. That way I can square it up. So I have the holes dug. So kind of take a look here. Went about three foot, some change deep. Now I'm ready for the concrete. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a half a bag of 80 pound concrete and I'm gonna put a half a bag of that in each one of these holes. So we have a half a bag of concrete in the holes. I'm just gonna add water. And then what you wanna do, take your post hole digger. This is an extra one that I have. It'd be kinda hard to do. But you just add your water, just kinda mix that up and then let it set. All right, so right back here, you put your nails in. Got my wife working. I'm gonna do two lag screws. These are three eighths by four inches. All right, this is what I have so far. We're gonna put the lag screws here. Now to check to see if the deck is plumb, we have this framing square. We're just putting it up against the house and you can see right here that it's square. We did that on both sides. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and fill the dirt in on these two posts. She's gonna, my wife's gonna help me out. She's gonna use the shovel and then I'm gonna use this tamping rod that weighs a ton. We have all the holes filled in. And what I've done is use these lag screws here. We put two into each little post there all the way around. So now what we've done is we've measured from center so it was 85 inches for our center and then I went 15 inches to the left and to the right and I made my marks for my joists so after you do that we go from mark to mark all the way across the board and I'm measuring the distance the inside distance just to make sure that each board is going to fit perfectly and then we're going to nail those up and we're going to secure those joists these joist hangers after that, then we're gonna start on the deck boards. Here's the deck with all of the joists already done. Don't forget to put one, two, three, four nails on the outside board or the joist butt up to it. Okay, if you look right here at this board, you'll see that there's a pretty good little gap compared to what you see right here. And the best way to look at that, that some of these long boards, these are 16 foot deck boards, some of them are gonna be bowed out a little bit. So what I'm doing, because I'm so far up off the ground, is I'm just taking, and if you push, and I'll show you here, I'm just putting a little bit of pressure, kind of push right here with your feet, and then you just put a screw in here, and what it'll do is it'll take that bow out. Now 
if you look, that bow, that gap is gone. That's kind of how I've been addressing that. So I'm going to show you how to cut a board that goes around a post similar to this one here. So if you look, I have four of them. One, two, three, four. So this is really easy to do. Just take your board. What you're going to do is you're going to put your board up against the post here, as I have. And you're just going to take a little square and something to mark it with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here. I'm going to take my square. Mark it like that. And I know this post is three and a half inches. So I'm going to mark down three and a half inches on the side right here. So I have my marks at each post. We're going to take this. And I'll show you how to cut them. All right, so I'm going to use this little wood bit here. We're going to make a hole right here on this corner. I'm going to go a little bit more than my mark. So it gives me a little bit of play in this board here. What I'm going to do is take this little portable saw or any kind of little skill saw here. We're going to cut a little bit on the outside of each one of these red lines. We're going to cut right here, just up a little bit past this line. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a little jigsaw and I'm going to cut across. That's why we have the little circle there to kind of get that jigsaw blade going that direction. All right, so that it fits. I'm going to show you guys here how to make these stair stringers really quickly. So I needed seven steps. So what I ended up doing is I went to Lowe's and I bought this small little stringer already pre-cut. And then I bought my board. And then all I'm doing is just laying it down. Just trace it out. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to move this guy down a little bit to the number of steps that you need. Gonna explain how to do the railing here. This is what I did. So I have these little pieces that are one and a half inches tall, and so I'm just using those to set my bottom piece in, and then I screw them in here, and then on the side. I don't know if you can see that. And then what I'm doing is I'm using this as just a temporary piece to tie it in on the bottom. So when I do the top piece. I'll know how far up to go, and then I can also space it front to back like this as well. And then I take this off, and we're using a two by four just to space each baluster. And I just repeat that process all the way till you're finished. Okay, this is the deck with the railing up here. You can see I put a gate up so we can keep our dogs on the deck with this. I still need to cut these posts down. And I haven't done that yet because I'm gonna buy the little post cap lights. I'm gonna see how tall they sit and then I'll cut that down according. But I will tell you, I'll probably have to come over here and move this guy down a hair or else cut the post cap light. Just kind of modify it. Definitely gonna have to move this guy down just a little bit to put a, a light there. This is it, it's 95% complete. Still need to do the railing here for the steps. So what I'm going to do is put, actually gonna put a four by four post on the second step on each side, and then I'll tie it into that post up there. That way we'll have a couple rails. Looking at the gate there. This will take you to the front of the, the deck here. Not bad for my first time building a deck. Still have some pieces on the bottom. What I'll do at the very end is I think I'm going to put some lattice board, some treated lattice board around the bottom edge of the deck, and then I'll continue with the plants that we have. There it is. There's the deck. <laughs> 